Howdy guys, Bookie Laura here. Now I am really fortunate that as a teacher, I at the end of the year am often the recipient of some incredibly generous gifts from the children and the parents of the children that I teach. Uh, and this year is no different. I got a, lots of presents at the end of the year, which is really kind and really thoughtful and I'm extremely grateful for them. This year, for the first time ever, I received some gifts which were slightly surprising but actually showed how well the children know me. For the first time ever, I received book vouchers from more than one child. So this week I went out into town and spent all those book vouchers on some brand new exciting books and I'm delighted to tell you all about it. Now if you've been watching my channel updates recently, you'll know that I'm trying to get back to my roots, if that makes any sense, of reading, trying to read sort of less YA stuff that I'm more interested in, more sci-fi. So when I went to the bookshop with the vouchers, that was kind of what I had in my head, was okay, let's reset the reading, let's try and get back to, to what I'm excited about reading. So I picked up some books which I felt did that. I, I felt like I got quite a range actually of different books. It's very, very rare that I buy new books, so this was quite an experience for me. But anyway, the first book which I picked up was a book that was recommended to me by one of the parents of the children I teach. She watches my videos sometimes, apparently. Hi! She, uh, uh, her daughter told me recently that, oh, my mum says you should read The Hate You Give. So when I went into the bookshop, that was the book that I knew I wanted to get. I've heard such amazing things about it and it sounds like it's right up my street. I love to dis to sort of discuss and be aware of issues around discrimination and prejudice and what have you, so I'm quite excited about reading it and jumping on the bandwagon, to put it bluntly. Another book which I kind of knew I was going to pick up or that I was con trying to convince myself to pick up, and I did, was Saga Volume 1. Again, I've heard amazing things about it, I have an issue with graphic novels. I tend to find them over, overpriced for the content that you get, and that was quite difficult for me to overcome. However, from everything I've read, this is the graphic novel that you need to read. So I went in, and actually the price wasn't too bad, so I picked it up, and their bookseller actually said to me, oh, this is such a great book, you're going to love it. And I was like, mm, but what about the price? And he went, nope, nope, you have to read it. So I'm excited to read it, and I think if I do enjoy it, then... I will probably read the rest of the series, although I might have to ask Father Christmas about that. So at that point, I kind of got the books that I knew I was going in to get, so I just had a general browse. I headed over to the sort of sci-fi fantasy area and um, and picked up John Scolzi's The Collapsing Empire. I haven't read an awful lot of John Scolzi. I read Lock-In earlier this year and I absolutely loved it. I loved the way that he writes. I loved the sci-fi elements. So not knowing very much about this book, I decided to get it because why not? Then in the same section, I picked up The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman is someone who I have read a few books by before but never been overly enamoured with them. I've never found a book of his that I've fallen in love with, but I know lots of people who have. Um, I could be wrong, but I think that Spanmaid read this book previously and said great things about it, so that too when I saw it I just thought yeah I'll get this one because I've heard good things about it so fingers crossed that I'll finally discover a love or I'll finally get Neil Gaiman that would be great and then the final book which I picked up was the one that I had the most trouble with convincing myself to get because it was a hefty price tag and that was The Invention of Hugo Gabray by Brian Selznick this is a massive book I mean it is massive I can barely hold it up it's hardback, which I don't buy, ever, but I've been wanting to read this for so long. And I picked it up, and it was cost a bomb, but I thought, well, we're using vouchers. And then I looked inside really briefly, and saw the, a lot of the book is made up of pictures. It's, it's not, just, not just text, and I think that that kind of won me over. This is a beautiful, beautiful book. That makes me excited about reading it. It's also supposed to be just an incredible children's book and one that I would potentially read to my class, so that got me going as well. And when you're using vouchers, I think you can convince yourself to spend more money on stuff you wouldn't typically. Or is that just me? So those are the books which I picked up with the end of term vouchers that were kindly and generously given to me by some of the children who I teach. 
I am super excited about these books and therefore super duper grateful to the children that gave me the vouchers and to all of them because they're just treasures. Uh, if you've read any of them let me know, um, particularly if you've read the Scolzi or Hugo Cabray because I haven't heard as much about those so I'd be intrigued to see what people think. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.